Jason Durant from Budget Astro Picks. And I'm here today with my latest toy, or my new piece of kit. It's a Mini Track LX2. It's a purely mechanical tracking platform. It's very lightweight. Let's have a look in the box. You don't get any manual with this. You just get a card printed in five different languages telling you where you can go to download the manual. And it's very well packed. And here it is. Works by clockwork. Has a tensioning spring here. You fit it to a tripod here. Either fit an arc, a Swiss or other type of tripod plate. You fit a ball head here. It doesn't come with a ball head in the original kit. You either have to provide your own or you can buy one as an additional upgrade to the kit. It's completely clockwork. Be interested to see how this goes. Let's set it up in the garden and see it set up and ready to take images. Let's take this outside and have a play. Mopsy. Look, girl. Oh. Someone's not interested. And before that we use the mount, I have to attach the Arca Swiss plate to the bottom of the mini track. So attach this to the mini track. And then See here. Screw on the ball head. Now this here is for where the polar sight goes in. So make sure before you start lining up for Polaris that you move the saddle of the ball head out of the way of the view of the polar site. And speaking of polar sites, that's it. It's an eight millimeter tube. It's not a poloscope. I'm going to try out my Canon 6D with a 14mm Rokinon lens. I've just gone indoors and weighed it and it's over 1300 grams. The load limit for this mount is 2 kilos, so it's well within the load limit. This mount doesn't use a counterweight, it uses a tension spring. 
and there's seven different settings. Zero to five on one reverse setting. And you can find the instructions for these settings in the manual. And these are to do where you look at the position of your camera on the mount and where its center of balance is. So as this is pointing directly toward over the rotation, point of rotation, and it's at the south, then you leave it on setting zero. Turning it to the east, then you start choosing the different tension settings. And it would be best to check in the manual to decide which would be best for your needs.